Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good today. Well, today I'm going to try to grow potatoes in a grow bag. I've never done this before, and so I did watch a couple videos on it, and I think I got a pretty good idea. But I'm going to explain to you exactly how a potato grows, because it is really important to understand that if you're going to use one of these. We're going to talk about the features of the bag, and then I'm, at the end of this, I'm going to come over here where my potato tower is, and I think I'm going to try to pull some hay back and see if they're actually starting to grow yet. And I'm sure somebody has probably made a video on this, but I'm, I think I found an alternative to these that is a little bit cheaper and it's, it would probably work all right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, the kind of potato that I'm going to grow is a russet Burbank. And so what it is, and this has three eyes on it. You got one here, one here, and one here. Now, I don't really want that many. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to pull this one off. So I really only want two eyes. And I'll explain that here in just a second. But um, this is an indeterminate. Now, if you were going to use a, a Kennebec or a Yukon Gold or a Red Pontiac, uh, those are determinate potatoes. And I actually think they would probably work better in a smaller grow bag. Like I say, this is a seven gallon. And so you don't have a lot of room, but we're going to try to make this indeterminate work because I want to try to get as many potatoes as I can, but I don't want a lot of plants. I want bigger potatoes. So I just want the two plants, but I want, you know, I'm not going to get as many potatoes, but hopefully they'll be bigger. So how this works is, you can see, I've got a mark on there right here, and that is 10 inches up from the top down. So when I plant this, these are going to grow up, and this is going to be the green part of your potato. Now off of that, you're going to get what's called stolons, and those are the stems that come out that actually grow your potatoes your roots come off of the bottom so in my grow bag because that's only 17 inches you really need close to a foot uh, from your potato up because that's really maybe not quite say eight inches but you want a lot of dirt from here up because this is where your potatoes are going to grow now what i'm hoping is because the potato root can actually get to be about 18 inches long um, I'm going to assume that it's just going to curl around in that bag so I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do this uh, all the fertilizer everything so let's get to it okay so what kind of soil I'm using is just an all-purpose garden soil this was right at ten dollars a bag you can see it's one and a half cubic foot so we're going to see how much soil roughly it takes to fill one of these up. So you kind of get an idea of how much it would cost, you know, if you were wanting to do multiple uh, grow bags. So I don't think there's anything special about this. Um, like I say, it was just kind of a cheaper dirt to use. So all right, now I know it might be hard to see down in there, but I got a couple of inches of dirt in there just to keep the bag from blowing away. It's a little bit windy. And so I'm going to fill this up with just three or four inches of dirt, and then I'm going to apply my fertilizer. Okay, so that's probably three inches right there. So let me explain how I'm going to fertilize this. Okay, so I did watch a couple videos, and they used a variety of things, uh, bone meal, uh, all different kinds of stuff, and some of them used Dr. Earth. Now, I had a viewer uh, really talk good about Dr. Earth, and so if you were wanting to go with a granule um, fertilizer 
something organic like that would be good. You want nitrogen in it because nitrogen is what's going to help all that green grow. And that's what you want at the start. You want nice, big, green, healthy plants because the energy that comes down, it creates a starch. And that's what actually gives the energy to your plant to grow your potatoes. So nitrogen is a really big thing to consider when you're when you're going to start fertilizing your plants now what i'm going to do is is i'm going to put alfalfa pellets and rabbit manure and i'm going to put a pretty decent layer in there but i don't want my potato when it just first starts getting roots i don't want them touching that i want it to get established and get a little bit of growth before it gets to that nitrogen okay so this is just like i say it's just steeped uh, you know rabbit manure and alfalfa pellets and I want to put a decent layer in there about like that because I can always fertilize it from the top too so that's quite a bit for the amount of potatoes that I'm going to put in here I think that's pretty good now one of the problems that I see with doing it like this is you really can't amend the pH and pH is important for potatoes because they need to be in that uh, below seven range definitely but probably six to six and a half in order for them to be able to take in nutrients as good as they can so you get bigger potatoes now I did watch a video from kind of a big gardener on YouTube and he put uh, pelletized sulfur in the bag just like when he was growing it and I don't agree with that and I even left a comment because it takes months for for them pellets to break down so if this works good and and I hope it does because I really do see value in this um, I think you could amend the soil come next year so this is probably an experiment that I will keep going on with but for right now um, just doing it like I'm doing it I really don't have any control over the pH so let's go ahead and plant the potato okay so I'm going to put this dirt in up to my 10 inch mark and I'll break some of that up and this is actually really kind of decent soil I guess um, you know it's going to allow them roots to really get in there and uh, get down to that, uh, you know, rabbit manure and stuff. So, let me put just a little bit more in. Now, another thing that I'm, I'm kind of thinking about this, I haven't done it before, watering it. I think you're really going to have to keep up on the watering. I think this bag is going to get hot in the summer. So, that right there is something you have to uh, take into consideration. So, here's my 10 inch mark right here. And so, it's 10 inches from here up. So, I'm going to plant this. I'm only going to use one. Uh, so, hopefully, I got an eye here and an eye here. Hopefully, I get two plants. But I'm not going to fill this all the way up. I'm only going to cover it a little bit. And then as my plant grows, uh, you know, I'm going to add more. Now, if I was using a Kennebec or a Pontiac Red, I would probably raise this up a little bit maybe. Because, again, when you hill potatoes, uh, you know, an indeterminate, you got to hill them higher than a determinant. So it's the same thing in a bag. You, you just have to give it more room. So we're going to cover this up. And then I would want to give it a real good watering and, you know, just uh, water it in and then just leave it. You can see I still got several inches to go. Now, the bag, I've used probably close to half of a bag, you can see. So, 
it, it would take uh, you're probably not going to be able to use two seven uh, gallon grow bags for one and a half cubic feet if that would help anybody out at all so let's talk about this and we're going to go over here and look at this potato tower okay before we get into this uh, my my thoughts on this never having done it just uh, this is my opinion and let me know what you, you think in the comments I think a grow bag is actually a lot easier than trying to grow one of these and you know using a potato tower now I got two videos on this and I'm gonna leave them in a, a link to them in the description so you can kind of see if you're new to those kind of what it takes to do all this uh, if you're really tight on space, I think them grow bags uh, would work great. And the only downside is the cost of the soil. Now, I think a, a guy could rejuvenate that soil. He could mix in maybe some soil out of his garden, maybe some, uh, you know, some kind of an amendment in there and rejuvenate it and reuse it again. So that might not be as big of a thing as what I first thought. So... Um, all in all, from what little I just did right there, if I get decent potatoes out of it, I'd probably throw one of these away and use one of them. So, guys, here's another one. I think you can make uh, grow bags out of these. You can staple the bottom where, you know, where this paper is, punch some holes in it, and I think this would make a really really good grow bag that's i've never seen that in a video i'm sure there's one out there somewhere though but that's kind of uh maybe a, a way to to make it a little bit more cost effective so let's go ahead and take a look at these all right let's check it out i haven't looked i don't know what they're going to look like well let's see I've got, if I could not destroy it, I got a pretty good eye started there, or pretty good sprout. So that's something. Um, let's check the one over here. Same thing there. Starting to get a real good sprout right there. So they seem to be doing okay. So guys, if you want to see how the uh, the potato tower turns out and you want to see how the grow bag turns out, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. And, you know, this is what it's all about, just being out here and having fun. Well, you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.